Hey everyone, it's the Bryces right here. There isn't much we know about the next-gen PlayStation VR coming to PS5 other than speculation. On Tuesday, we received official news and some important details on the PSVR 2. Before we get into the discussion, if at any point you do enjoy this video, if you would consider leaving a like, I would really appreciate it. On February 23rd, the PlayStation blog was updated with a new post about the next PlayStation VR by Hideaki Nishino, Senior Vice President of PlayStation. There's quite a bit of details on here that I'm excited for. The article starts out with a little background on the original VR and some great games including Blood and Truth. Now let's get into the meat of it. The PlayStation blog post says, Today I'm pleased to share that our next generation VR system will be coming to PlayStation 5, enabling the ultimate in entertainment experience with dramatic leaps in performance and interactivity. Players will feel an even greater sense of presence and become even more immersed in their game worlds once they put on the new headset. We're continuing to innovate with our new VR system so that our fans can continue to enjoy the unique experiences that are synonymous with PlayStation. We're taking what we've learned since launching PSVR on PS4 to develop a next-gen VR system that enhances everything from resolution and field of view to tracking and input. It will connect to PS5 with a single cord to simplify setup and improve ease of use, while enabling a high fidelity visual experience. This is a huge detail and will be a huge change in the PlayStation VR. One of the main grievances people had with the PSVR was the ample amount of cords it has. It is a beefy processing unit and too many cords, so it's kind of impossible not to have a mess. Considering the PSVR 2 will only have one cord that directly links to the PS5, that means it will have its own processor inside, similar to the Oculus Quest 2 except it won't be wireless, which is unfortunate, but this is still a huge upgrade. I'm also excited for the better resolution because most of the PSVR games didn't look the greatest and were sometimes blurry. The blog goes on to discuss the new controllers designed for the VR. One of the innovations we're excited about is our new VR controller, which will incorporate some of the key features found in the DualSense wireless controller, along with a focus on great ergonomics. That's just one of the examples of future-proof technology we're developing to match our vision for a whole new generation of VR games and experiences. I'm really excited for this, guys. While the PlayStation Move worked well, they were last-gen controllers, meaning for the PS3. I'm particularly excited about the detail that says it will incorporate some of the key details of the DualSense. With haptic feedback and adaptive triggers, VR will feel even more immersive, even though it may be a bit more expensive. Unfortunately, it will not be releasing anytime soon. There's still a lot of development underway for our new VR system, so it won't be launching in 2021, but we wanted to provide this early update to our fans. As the development community has started to work on creating new worlds for you to explore in virtual reality. Even though it won't be releasing this year, and maybe not the next year, I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to more VR Star Wars stories and Marvel and DC ones. Vader Immortal, Marvel's Iron Man, and Batman Arkham were some of my favorites. With the DualSense capabilities in VR, we could feel repulsors shoot out of our hands or feel the thrusters lift us up into the air. When wielding a lightsaber, you could feel it extend from the hilt. I'm most excited for DualSense capabilities to be included in VR. Does this new information have you excited for the next PlayStation VR? I will make sure to keep you up to date on the next-gen PlayStation VR news. If you're new to my channel, I make news and speculation videos on upcoming games like Hogwarts Legacy as well as the occasional Let's Plays and reaction videos. If you're interested in that type of content, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Well, I hope you all have a sensational day, and I will see you in the next video.